Hey guys, I'm back with another quick tip. Uh, this one is how to use the Windows 7 calculator in Windows Vista, and I'll even show you a little bit about it. Um, so here it is. This is the calculator itself. First of all, how do you get it? Well, open your internet browser and Google Windows 7 calculator. And the first link will be life lifehacker.com. Click on that and you will see a bunch of uh, Windows 7 software available for Windows Vista. And one of those will be the Windows 7 calculator. So, give it a second to load. Alright, yeah, it's done. So, here's the website once it loads. It'll say, get the Windows 7 calculator in Vista. And it'll say, Windows Vista only. I would not try it with XP. I haven't, uh, haven't attempted that yet. I have an XP desktop downstairs. I might just try that for you guys. Um, so, this is a Windows 7 utility. And all the comments down here it says it is good. So I downloaded it, and here it is. I'll show you guys. Um, it works just like any other calculator. Uh, it you can use your number pad. I'm using a number pad right now. Uh, you can clear your memory. It doesn't have memory in your Vista. Here, I'll pull up the Vista calculator next to it for a comparison. So with this one, yes, you can use the number pad. This one, you can use the number pad, but it doesn't have memory in this one. So if you go to view, you have standard mode and scientific mode. This is scientific mode. This is standard mode. For this one, you have standard, you have scientific mode, you have programmer mode, which is all in binary crap, and you have statistics mode. I'm using it in standard mode. I usually use it in scientific mode, actually, because I use trigonometry. I'm in school right now. Um, that's it's not a huge difference. Um, it's just shortcuts. This one you can copy and paste. This one you can copy paste and copy certain values and paste certain values. You have history. You have the date of calculation, templates even, separators, and then about the calculator, which I'm sure is going to pull up a web page. This one is just about calculator in Windows Vista. So, hey, it's it's a minor improvement, but I like the look, so I decided to keep it. I put it in my Rock Rock, which I showed you a tutorial of before. It opens up over here. Exit out. That is Windows 7 Calculator for Windows Vista. I encourage you to download it. It's pretty cool. And when you when you do download it, so when you search it, you have to search Calc because that's what it comes up as. It's under files, not programs, and calc. And when you click on calc, that's when it comes up. It won't, if you actually search calculator, you will only find, oh, well, actually, you will find it. But if you just hit enter, it'll bring up the actual program that comes with Vista. So I saved it to here and renamed it calculator by going to icon settings and name calculator. So thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. Peace.